Okay guys, so I am back. As promised, I was gonna talk about my cloth diaper favorites and pros and cons. Um, my videos, for the most part, are never gonna be sit down formal um, unless I film on the weekend because I stay at home with Luke and my husband doesn't get home until late, so. <laughs> so I wanted to show you guys my favorite cloth diapers. Okay, so here I have two of my favorite cloth diapers. Um, now this is the only one of this brand that I have, so that's why I pulled this one. I do love the print. This is the Alva Baby. Let's see if I can find the patch, yeah. Alva Baby, um, I think they called it the all-in-one pocket diaper. I did a review of this on my channel, so if you're interested, go check that out. Um, I really do love this diaper. It fits great. It fits better than my um, like other pocket diapers that I love. Careful. Um, this print is super cute, and these are super cheap. So I totally, if I had to start over and buy all new cloth diapers, um, and I was going to buy them brand new, I would buy these. Um, I did buy this one brand new. It has a built-in pocket. I did a review, like I said, so I'm not going to go in too depth. Um, but anyways, so I love the Alva Baby all-in-one pockets. Okay, and then my next favorite is the Bum Genius pocket diaper. You got your diapy? <laughs> oh, honey. So I picked the gray one just because this is my favorite color for some reason in the diaper. I love this and the bright green one. I forget the names. I think this is like armadillo or something. But this is just the standard Bum Genius pocket diaper. Um, all of my Bum Genius are second hand. You don't need, I just changed your diaper, honey. I'll see if I can do this one handed. Um, so I bought all of these second hand and um, they're still in great condition. Some of them I had to fix, excuse you, fix the elastic on. Luke, you wanna wear that diaper? Okay, he wants to wear his tools diaper. So anyways, um, I love the Bum Genius Pocket Diapers. I Just for some reason, this is what I reach for, is my pocket diapers and the Bum Genius specifically. I just, I don't know, I feel like they're easiest for me. Um, they're best quality in my opinion. And normally I stuff them with just two inserts and they're good to go. Um, he doesn't wear overnight cloth diapers, so I never stuff anymore. But So, Bum Genius and the Alva All-in-Ones. And then I wanted to talk about some of my favorite inserts. I love the Thirsty's Hemp inserts. Um, they're super soft. Not that they touch his butt or anything, but they're super soft. And paired with just a simple cotton. This is a Bum Genius cotton insert. Literally, you wouldn't think that this cotton, it's really pretty thin if you, if you could feel it. But if I pair... It like this put the cotton on top and the hemp on bottom it's really slim in the diaper and so he doesn't have like a big old ant booty and it holds up excellent so this is my favorite combination I only have three of these thirsties they're pretty pricey so I probably won't be purchasing anymore but I do highly recommend them especially if you can find them secondhand they're great I okay guys so it's the next day and luckily Luke is napping so I can sit down and talk to you guys about my pros and cons of cloth diapering. So like I said, I've been doing this for a little over five months now, and I've gotta say, it's harder than I thought. I knew it was gonna be challenging, but I also thought it was gonna be pretty rewarding, and some days it is, and then some days I find it to just be frustrating and a lot of work, and I'll tell you why. So I wrote down some pros and cons, just so I could remember. I'm a little scatterbrained all the time. Okay, so my pros. So you do save money. Um, up front, maybe not, um, especially if you're buying all of your diapers um, at one time or if you're buying like in bulk, um, secondhand, it's gonna be a big chunk of money out of pocket to start. But if you think about it, 100 to $200 up front versus Oh, I don't know, $50 a month on diapers. I don't know how 
many diapers um, everybody else goes through, but we probably go through about a box a month um, when we're not cloth diapering. So I don't buy diapers pretty um, regularly anyways, and I always use a coupon when I do buy diapers. So, and that's even Pampers. Um, I will say I did calculate up two years of diapers, Pampers diapers, for Luke, and um, I wasn't getting two or three thousand like people are saying. Um, I don't know how they're getting that. I wish I would have um, done that for this video, but I didn't. Um, so just calculate it up. That would be some advice for you guys. Calculate up um, how many diapers, like how much you spend on diapers a month. So how many boxes you're buying, how many boxes, calculate it up. How many boxes are you buying? Um, how many wipes are you buying? I use um, regular baby wipes anyways, so I didn't really calculate the wipes. I just kind of did the diapers. So calculate it up. If you're buying a box a month at 20, what is it, $25, um, that to me, a, well, let's see. I wish I could do this in my head. I probably cannot. But 25 times 12 times 2 when you typically potty train, um, I don't think I got $3,000 like a lot of sites will tell you. Um, I may be wrong, like I said, but that's not what I got. So calculate how much you're going to spend on cloth if you're going to um, buy secondhand, if you're going to buy brand new, if you're going to do cloth wipes and things like that and just decipher what is better for you. Um, I didn't notice an increase in our water bill, maybe $10, but I do a lot of laundry anyways. So I didn't really see a big difference in our water bill. I did um, see a bunch of people comment on other sites saying that their water bill skyrocketed. Ours did not. So, and as far as laundry detergent goes, I coupon for um, laundry soap. So that didn't go up any as well. So my second pro that I have, it's better for the environment. So one diaper will sit in the landfill up to, I think it's 500 years or something like that. It's something crazy. I may be totally off, but it's a pretty long time. It's like 200 to 500 years or something like that. Plus you can um, sell your diapers for somebody to use secondhand or if you have multiple kids. So you get a lot of bang for your buck and you're saving the environment as you go. Okay, so my third pro is it's better for baby. So in disposable diapers so it's just you know there can be chemicals and you know things like that and even though there are diapers that claim to be you know no chemicals no whatever um you never know because they are made in a factory and so cloth diapers are just you know that it's just cloth and there's no chemicals and things like that and then my fourth pro is just kind of silly um Cloth diapers are cute in my opinion. They have cute prints that you can choose from. You can custom them. And they're just fun to look at versus the same standard um, disposable diaper that you see every day, which um, a lot of the diapers, disposable diapers do have cute prints, but I just um, find that there's more variety in cuteness in cloth. That may be silly, but um, that was one reason that I was drawn to cloth diapers in the beginning. So. Okay, let's get to my cons. I only have three cons. Okay, and the first one is the poop diapers are nasty. <laughs> they are, there's just no getting around it. Um, I don't really mind it so much, but it gets gross. Um, I mean, poop is gross in general. Um, I don't have a diaper sprayer. I was using my shower sprayer, like it comes off of my shower and my toilet's right by my shower. And I really didn't find that it did a great job. I still had to dunk it in the toilet and use my hands and it was just, it was actually causing a bigger mess for me to use a sprayer than it was just to just dunk it down in there and get it off, which it's really gross. Um, I don't have a weak stomach. My son's poop doesn't bother me, but it is pretty gross. Um, you know, you're, you have to use your hands and so you're sitting there and your hands are in their poop and especially if it's a gross diaper it's getting everywhere then you have to clean the toilet then you have to make sure your the baby's not running around trying to dig in it because my son does and so it's just gross and it's a hassle with a disposable I can just throw it away and then you don't have to mess with it you don't have to touch it you don't have to nothing further to do with the disposable so my son's um poop is pretty when I, 
it's pretty predictable when he's going to poop. So I try to keep him in a disposable when I know he's going to poop. But a lot of times, you know, he has a random sporadic poop and then I'm stuck cleaning the mess. So that is my number one con. It's gross. It's really, really gross. <laughs> Okay, so then my second con would be laundry. It's a lot of laundry. I do a load a day, um, typically anyways, of like regular clothes. I wash my son's clothes separately from ours. So I would do a load during the day of like regular clothes, and then at night after Luke would go to sleep is when I would do diaper laundry. So also I part-time cloth, and so I don't always have a full load, so I have to find stuff to bulk it with. And so you have to do a pre-wash, which is just like a cold rinse with no detergent. And I don't have a pre-wash setting on my um, washer. It's an old school washer. And so I have to run a full regular cycle um, with no soap. So it takes about, uh, I don't know, roughly an hour. So then I'm sitting up waiting on that and then I have to do a regular wash. Um, so it ta it's like a two to three hour process depending on if I stay up and dry them or if I do a second rinse, sometimes I do a second rinse depending on what laundry soap I use. So it's a lot of time. The laundry doesn't necessarily bother me. It's um, the time that it takes. And I guess I could prevent that doing it at different times, but that's just how it works out for my family. And so laundry for me is a con. Okay, my third con is going to be the rash ointment. Um, the diaper cloth diaper safe rash ointment is pretty expensive so I went to I have a local boutique I've said it many times on my cloth diapering videos um, that's where I get most of my cloth diapering stuff so I went in one time Luke had a rash and you can't use regular butt paste on cloth diapers it will ruin them and they will be no longer absorbent and then you just trashed a cloth diaper so you can't use like triple paste or, you know, the Bodo, Bodox butt paste, whatever it's called, um, Aquaphor, you can't use any of those. There are a couple that are cloth diaper safe, but you just never know. And so I went and the cheapest one that they had was $12.99 and it was like a little two ounce like pod it was by thirsties it was called butt love it was great it worked awesome i highly recommend it if you want to spend the money on that otherwise there's not a whole lot of options grovia makes like a magic stick and there's a couple other options but they're all over ten dollars so you know when you can get i think the triple paste that i buy is I got a big tub of it on sale for eight dollars so and there's always coupons for things like that especially on the Target app so it's just it's harder to find cheap butt paste for um, cloth diapers especially a lot of um, parents do cloth diaper because they don't have the money to buy disposables so when you're having to buy rash ointment that's that expensive that's just not um, logical for everybody. So those are my pros and cons of cloth diapering. I hope that it helped you guys and that this was informative. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you have not already and I'll see you guys in the next one.